It has now been one month since I haven't played badminton. <sighs> and taking a month break isn't that big a deal. I'm actually supposed to be traveling right now. I'm not even supposed to be in Shaman. The problem is that I am not traveling, that I'm sitting at my home. And so it just like eats me up because I'm not doing anything. At least if I was traveling, I would be having fun adventures. But I'm just kind of sitting at home and I'm just like so jealous and angry that everybody's playing and everybody's having fun and I'm not. And to make matters worse, we have a competition coming up in nine days. My coach put together a really good team and I am signed up to play. Um, I am not sure if I can actually play. So all these really awesome people are coming to play tonight. So I decided to just say, F it, I'm going to the court. I wore civilian clothing so that I am not so tempted to play, but I am very, very tempted. <laughs> You know, I thought I was already kind of like jealous and angry and feeling FOMO at home, but like now at the courts, I'm even like angrier. Why can't I play? And, and watching it in person is more torturous because I'm confronted by it every second and it looks so fun. And today, because of our competition that's coming up, there's a bunch of girls that are on our team that are playing. And uh, one girl, she's way better than me, but the others, like, I think I'm better than them. And I really want a chance to try to see. I don't get a chance to play with them. I haven't met them before, so, um, and their level's pretty good. So I'm really kind of upset that I can't play with them today. Like, I really, really want to play with them. My coach just told me that he's not gonna let me play in the tournament and I'm super bummed. It's one of the problems of like my coach caring for me so much he feels responsible for me so kind of no matter what I say he's gonna decide for me. He thinks I look too white and I didn't play today so he doesn't want me playing. Now that 
know that I'm not playing, I see my coach like playing with another girl and I'm like even more jealous because I was going to play with my coach in the competition. So now he's like trying out the other girls to see which one is most suitable to play with. So now I'm more angry. to admit that I'm super disappointed that I don't get to play with the team and I don't get to play in the competition. I really love playing in competitions so I'm kind of upset about that. Um, also tonight I have like mixed feelings about tonight. It was really fun and I'm really glad to see everybody and everybody really cares about me a lot. That's like really nice. And my coach, um, when he told me that he was gonna switch me out, he didn't want me to play, came up to me like five, six times. And each time he was like, are you angry? Are you sad? <laughs> he was like checking with me. A couple of the other guys, they also checked up on me, which um, was very like sweet of them to do. But it was kind of like torturous to watch everybody play and they had so much fun and it was such a good group tonight. Like the team is a really good team, which makes it even worse that I can't play on that team. But I'm also happy that I saw everybody and I'm also happy that, you know, they all still like me and haven't forgotten me. <laughs> I think that's one of my concerns deep down, out of sight, out of mind, you know? And obviously that's not the case. And I know that's not the case, you know, people disappear for a month, two months, three months, and when they come back, like, everything's fine. But, you know, I just feel, like, super left out, which makes me sad, and now I'm, like, intentionally left out of the competition. My coach did say a lot of nice things to me about how much he wants me to play and stuff, and that did mean a lot to me, because my coach is not um, nice to be nice. <laughs> like, he doesn't say things um, unless he means them, so that's nice and I don't know you know I just feel kind of like bummed I guess is the word bummed about bummed about being sick I guess oh well what can you do sorry to end on such a downer note in this video but it's the true story of a girl playing badminton and the problems that come with it sometimes so you know you know